Alright, here's a improperly thought out quick shop tour. I'm in the middle of doing a lot of movement of crap around, so I figured I would begin with uh, where we're starting now, which is still like phase two or three of the shop tour. Anyway, there's in the brightness are our uh, lovely vehicles, the outside of the house, and here as we come in the garage, immediately to the right are my racks. Um, keep all sorts of goodies in here. Different knives, pencils, marking things, those are actually Festool sustainer dividers that I find work better in these task force things. Um, drill bits, my ode to woodpeckers, and uh, lots of other things. Miscellaneous saw blades, feather boards, and a stereo that never gets turned on. Um, here we have my uh, Cyclone, my rigid uh, blower vac Cyclone from Clearview. Absolutely fantastic. Love this thing. They don't seem to make it anymore with the reconfigured Clearview organization, but if you can find one, buy it. It's fantastic. Uh, there's my Delta. <laughs> well, underneath all that crap is my Delta contractor saw. It's doing the job for right now. It will get replaced ultimately, but that's years down the road for right now. It does everything. The next phase is actually to close the back of it off and build an outfeed table, make it a little bit more functional. Before we get too far in the shop, I'm going to take the time to turn on the lights, which right now is not the easiest thing because they're kind of buried behind all this crap that's in the pile to go other places. Uh, as we come in the left, my bandsaw, which is not running right now. It's got a lot of tune-up to do there. It spent a couple years in a shed on a canal. And considering that, it's in good shape, but it still doesn't track and the blade comes off and I haven't dealt with it yet. There's my Jet 6-inch joiner. Uh, both a wonderful machine and a never-ending source of frustration. Uh, here's my uh, my wood pile. Sheet goods and a couple of dimensional boards. Um, this is going to get moved against the bandsaw because this is kind of dead space here. The bandsaw not working right now is dead space. I'm going to shift all the wood over to here, take the joiner, and move it in front of the window, hopefully open it up a little bit. Here's my bench top drill press along with a little stand. These are both going back up in the attic because right now I don't have the room for them and I don't use the drill press all that often so it can get moved up. Here is my brand new Bosch glide saw, which I'm embarrassed to say is now going on two weeks old and still has not uh, not cut anything yet. I'm going to switch hands for the camera. And we pull back and you see that beautiful uh, glide action. I can't wait to use this thing. And here is the really cool part. You see how there's not much space between the saw and the wall? We unlock the saw and we swing. And there it is. Look at that. Right against the wall. What's not to like about that? I got the Bosch because the uh, dimension from the fence to the back clearance with the Bosch is actually two inches less than it is with the Festool Capex. And this is a 12 inch blade with a 14 inch cut capacity. Uh, so it's just a monster saw with no space in the back. It's brilliant from Bosch. Here's my, uh, that's my vacuum boom arm that's going to have to get moved. I know I've, I've talked to lots of people about this and everyone's like, well, it's great, but it seems like a lot of work. Uh, it's no work at all. It's just a couple scraps of plywood screwed together with some glue. It took me about 15 minutes to make, and it attaches to the wall with just one, two butt hinges. I'm going to undo three screws, and it's going to come off. So right now, my bench is moving over here, kind of in the middle of the shop, and I'll probably actually attach this thing to the top of these cabinets. I will just add a wooden cleat across the top and attach it. I'm thinking it's going to take me maybe 10 minutes to move it. So if you don't have one, make yourself a vacuum boom arm. It's fantastic. The one thing I'll add is put these little springs in. They help the vacuum uh, hose move a lot. Anyway, as we continue down, it's my, my clamp rack. I'm getting there in the clamp collection, but still, you know, never enough. So that will continue to grow. Bucket full of garbage, a bucket full of clamps, and an uh, empty bin, bin full of vacuum hoses. That's also kind of going upstairs. I'm trying to take as much as I can right now and move it into my attic so that I can clear up these completely barren, uninsulated walls and start working on that project. Here is uh, my miscellaneous finishing materials that you can't really see in this lighting. They're underneath the planer. They're going to go down the basement where it's heated so that they don't uh, freeze and get messed up during the winter. And here is my planer on a quickie stand I made. This is kind of modeled off of a Bob Lang design for a miter saw stand. And I just made it much smaller and put cast on the bottom. And I use it for my planer 
it's a very temporary thing. It took me a little while to build, but it will get knocked down ultimately. I'm not sure where the player's going to go as the shop progresses. There's my Sodas Chronicles build challenge book stand that I still have to give to my mom. And behind it is a window. Uh, that's the narrowest window that Pella makes. The reason it's there is because the miter saw is here. So when we open that window, we can fit boards through. And here we are with part two. That uh, minor interruption came to the fact that uh, unfortunately mom is sick right now and the children are loose in the house. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here's some just miscellaneous stuff. There's a glass plate I use for flattening the sole of actually this plane that I'm working on right now. You can see that there's still some not so flat areas on it. It's getting there, but uh, still a lot more, a lot more work to go. Miscellaneous construction type stuff here. I've got my nail gun for the siding I'm working on, some caulking, my laser level. That's really exterior carpentry stuff that's been banished to this corner of the shop. And then in this dark, dark tower, you can see on the top I've got my, well that's my Veritas sharpening system underneath that black bag. Uh, miscellaneous safety stuff, woodworking catalogs of Rotex sander back there in the shadows, uh, garbage bags, some pegboard supplies, miscellaneous crap that I'm going to hopefully eliminate this cabinet. I'm trying to minimize the amount of shelving I have. Ultimately it's all going to go up on the walls, but step one is to minimize it and get it out of here and up in the attic if I don't use it often. Step two will be to insulate and finish all of these walls. And then step three will be to rehang everything on the walls and kind of clear up the space. Um, last thing, as we come around, here's my current bench that's got an experimental bench top slab on it. Wasn't too happy with that. And here's some um, timber strand OSB dimensional lumber that will go into the, the new bench that's currently just bubbling up in my mind. And there's miscellaneous uh, tools power tool cabinets of power tools that I actually use many many more hand power tools up in the attic kind of in somewhat dis disuse hanging from the ceiling we've got my track saw uh, lots of clamps my air filter and here against the wall lumber rack uh, hiding in the rack there also you can see those that slab that's glued up that is a bench top made from that timber strand dimensional lumber quite pleased with the way they came out. I'm pretty sure that will make it onto the finalized bench, though I don't think that particular one is going to be thick enough. I want to go three inches thick. Uh, and then here is the first piece of shop furniture I've made for this shop. Not pretty, but very functional. Uh, they pull out. Nice selection of hand saws here. If anyone needs some ear earmuffs, I've got lots of hearing protection, glue, uh, tape, things like that. Just supplies there. And though on either side will ultimately be more cabinets, right now it provides a nice home for extension cords, air hoses, vacuum hoses. I'm going to back up and give a grand view of the shop. And we'll get blood out by all the light coming in from the outside. It is fairly well lit with the three windows and the garage door. And a little bit of halogen, though lights will get upgraded also. So this is where we're starting now in November of 2010. We'll see where it takes us.